Good evening YouTube viewers and subscribers and Rodney. This is your OS 70 Surpass engine that you sent me for repair. So I thought I'd uh, do a quick look at this engine, do an initial inspection of it. Uh, so let's take a look at this engine. Let me turn it this way so I can actually see it. Okay. Got a needle valve in here some other throttle arm that doesn't belong to this engine. Exhaust. Let's take a look at this engine. This engine initially looks like it's had a pretty pretty healthy life. Throttle arm is bent up on it. Pretty good. Throttle barrel does move. Quite dirty and grimy. Pretty rough looking. You can see quite a bit of carbon build up on the exhaust valve. This engine's had a pretty healthy life, it feels like. As reported, no compression whatsoever. Let's take this rocker arm cover off real quick and take a quick look inside here and see what we got going on. That screw wasn't tight at all. Neither, no screws were tight. Okay, so it looks like our intake valve is the one that's got the broken spring on it, we think. It's not moving at all. Okay, so. Alrighty, well, it looks like I uh, got my work cut out for me with this engine. This is going to have to be a complete teardown. Uh, that should be interesting to see if I, how long it's going to take to get that wrist pin out. I have a feeling an engine like this is probably going to need bearings replaced in it too. So, this is the initial look. It looks like it's pretty rough. And this could take some time to get straightened out. So. Uh, We'll pick it up here and uh, start tearing it apart. Okay, so let's uh, let's start tearing into this engine and see what we've got. Now I see right here, right away, one of the C clips is missing here from the rocker arm, so that's a part right there that's going to have to be replaced. Now I haven't heated any of these screws up at all, which or oiled them, which I probably need to go and do because I have a feeling I'm going to have some resistance here with some of these fasteners. So I'm going to go and do a preliminary little spray down brushing cleaning of this engine and then heat it up pretty heavily before I start loosening any fasteners on this. Okay, I've heated this thing up, so let's see if we have any better luck loosening any of these fasteners. This one feels quite stubborn. I'm not seeing any garbage in there. Okay, I got this screw loose. I was able to grab onto it with a vice grips. Just break it free. Unfortunately, that screw needs to be replaced because the head is stripped on it. All of these parts are looking pretty pretty darn nasty. Thus this whole engine is going to have to be torn down and cleaned properly. Probably in the ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, here's our first issue. There's a bent push rod.
broken. Exhaust push rod was bent. This one looks straight. Kind of, I guess. That one's clearly bent. That one kind of rolls. Nope, that one's bent too. Two bent push rods. I'm not having getting a good vibe on this engine right now. Let's take this intake manifold off. I'm almost afraid of what the top of the piston looks like now. That spring broke at full throttle and that valve dropped and slapped it. This may engine may not be recoverable. It may just take a lot of parts to get going again. I was not informed of exactly how this happened, when it happened, or anything like that, so... That gasket is garbage. The next real interesting thing is going to be these two Phillips screws here, because I can see they're already stripped out. So I'm just going to try and put an oversized screwdriver in there and see if I can get them to come out. They got to be replaced because they're not right. At least they're coming out. This engine is turning out to be in pretty darn rough shape. pretty rough too. Alright, let's uh, take this head off and see what kind of scary things are in there. Now I have one more screw here, one more head screw that I've got to try and coax loose. Now luckily, didn't take too much coaxing. seems straight. They don't seem damaged, so they don't need to be replaced. Let's see what the valves look like here. Okay. Not quite as bad as I thought. As it might look. Head screws are okay. Let's see what we can do about getting that Yep, that spring's broke. Intake valve doesn't look damaged. So that's a good thing. So our keepers, we got our spring there, but this, this spring is broken in three places. Look at that. Boy, that's, that's something. I've never seen that before. Valve spring broken in three places, just totally, utterly destroyed. This other valve out. Cool. 
heat on that. It feels like that could be rusted. Either that or a little bit of CLR. Drip a little CLR on that thing and 